Well, first of all, it's Iris Van Herpen's 15th year of design, and I think that's such a big deal. For someone that has such beautiful ideas, I mean, I've just been taking some photos with the photographers. You're not just placing your hand on hip and trying to be as cute as you can. You're trying to create a story as they take these photos, even if it is backstage at a show. Um, I think that's what she's trying to do, to create storytelling through art that is what we wear clothes. For her latest haute couture winter collection, Iris van Herpen has embraced a dazzling array of materials. Everything from banana fibers and silk to recycled organza and even 3D printing. And as for the inspiration... It's inspired by post-humanism and uh, hyper-reality. Uh, so it really dives into the future, but at the same time I found inspiration in um, the poetry of Ovid. It's called Metamorphosis and it talks about our, our body transforming into um, animals or plant structures and um, it's really inspiring to think how relevant that is today with um, the metaverse uh, at our horizon and um, this timeless question of who we are beyond our physical bodies. And now it's actually really relevant again because we are transforming into a hyper-reality. And uh, that, yeah, that was the starting point of the collection. The challenge of interrogating different states of being also preoccupies Japanese designer Yuima Nakazato, whose work weaves a thread between past and future. The Shama was the inspiration for this collection. So it's a very primitive, uh, it's like a traditional technique and mixing with uh, Japanese traditional technique with a kimono. So for example, like uh, Japanese uh, indigo, natu natural indigo dye. Um, also using the rectangle shape. So it's no wasting fabric, just using everything. So that's all the message for the future of the earth. That's my, that's my message. Infusing clothes with meaning is one of haute couture's key raison d'être. The Franco-Cameroonian Iman Ayisi has called his collection Miene, which in the Cameroonian Ewondo language means the appearance. So, why the appearance? Because for this collection I collaborated with a Cameroonian artist called Boris Nzebo. I love his work, he's got a very special way of seeing things in the world around him. He did a whole body of work based on historical hairstyles in Africa. In the past, when you went to get your hair cut in a salon, there would be all these images on the walls with different hairstyle options. So he took that and put his mark on it. I think that's really interesting. So that whole idea of hairstyling, that top-down approach, the artist's detail as far as hair is concerned, well, you can see all of that in the way that I've worked some of the cords, or certain flowers, or certain bits of embroidery. There are things that hang down, or that move a bit on the dresses when the models walk the runway. That's all a reference to that initial idea. So, what does Iman represent? A certain African essence. He's a designer who's inspired by his heritage and who really celebrates a whole world of African savoir-faire. You know, there are lots of supposed masters of civilization who've drawn on our heritage for their own ends for years. But today it's wonderful that we're able to tell our story ourselves and in such wonderful ways. It's really quite wonderful. Now for a show set to the sound of silence, save for the rustling of fabric against fabric. Couture Adeline André is considered something of a radical and tends to look inside rather than outside for inspiration. I wanted to take things that I used to love, things that I'd abandoned, and resuscitate them a bit using different fabrics. So there are some very special materials here. There's some denim that I of course only use very rarely because it's a Japanese denim made from some of the finest fibers that exist. And then there's also some fabric from Chinungu in Japan, which is called Chirimen. It's white and it's textured, like crepe. 
et tout ça que j'adore. Que... And then ça, there are soir. other things that I love. Sinon, Silks, que... but also Puis, cotton and wool. Things, things that are actually quite simple. I don't know what else I can say actually. Three, two, one. One designer who does have something else to add is the inimitable Alexandre Vautier. His work is intrinsically sexy, keen to satisfy his clients' desires as well as their needs. You know, it's always satisfying to bring people pleasure, and we do that in an extremely methodical way because it's our work. We're designers, we make things happen, we have a market in mind, a specific clientele. But the most magical thing in this line of work is when you see women's eyes light up when they wear your clothes. And that, ultimately, is the whole point of haute couture.